Hey everyone, today I want to talk about Canon's new EOS R6 Mark II mirrorless camera. I'm going to go through some of the new features that are most important to the underwater photographer. I'll also introduce some exciting updates to the R6 Mark II housing. And if you're already shooting the R6 Mark I, stay with me until the end of the video to learn how to use an older housing with the new camera. Canon is currently our favorite camera brand underwater because their camera designs are so streamlined and intuitive. I've been shooting the Canon EOS R6 over the past year, and I'm really excited to get underwater with the brand new Canon EOS R6 Mark II. A brand new sensor boosts the camera's resolution up to 24 megapixels. This is not surprising and it's really what we have come to expect from a camera at this price tier. Canon has been doing amazing things with their AI-driven autofocus tracking development. Canon's machine learning algorithms have really nailed animal eye tracking and even bird eye tracking. The R6 Mark II has almost five times as many focus points as any of the other R series cameras, which should lead to an even more accurate tracking autofocus. The R6 Mark II leads its category in housing ergonomics and several features that are important to underwater photographers, like image stabilization rating, low light autofocus rating, and video capture options. The R6 Mark II is capable of shooting 4K Ultra HD video at 60 frames per second using the full width of its sensor. That's something the Sony A7 Mark IV and Nikon Z6 Mark II are not able to do. Another cool thing when you're shooting video is their new detect only autofocus mode. If you're tracking a subject that wanders off the screen, the camera will lock focus instead of searching for the next subject. I feel like that's going to help me because I hate when a fish moves off the screen and suddenly the camera is racking autofocus. The Canon R6 Mark II has an incredible burst shooting rate of 40 frames per second, which is double the speed of the Mark I and even faster than the flagship R3. This could be very useful in surf photography and when shooting extremely fast moving subjects underwater. I do like that the camera groups burst images similar to the way an iPhone does so that you can scroll through your images more quickly and also easily eliminate all but the best captures from a burst series. Battery life is also a bit better with the new camera and even before, I had no problem getting through a good day of diving with the R6 Mark I camera. The Canon R6 Mark II is priced competitively around $2,500 US. If you don't need all the extra features, you can save about $400 right now on the purchase of the original R6 Mark I camera. I've spent quite a bit of time shooting our housing for the Canon EOS R6 Mark I underwater, and I'm really excited about the upgrades on the new housing, which accommodates both cameras. Let's talk about what has changed. The bodies are so similar between the two cameras. However, there are some functionality changes that makes the new housing a little different and improves the ergonomics of the camera. The biggest physical change is the movement of the power on off control. Originally, the camera was turned on using a dial on the top left of the camera. On the R6 Mark II, this is home to a new still video switch. The power on off control moves to a lever around the quick control dial too. I like the new still video switch because it's a lot faster and more intuitive than using the mode dial for this purpose. What I'm most excited about is the totally new back profile of the housing, which makes the whole thing feel quite a bit smaller, sleeker, and dare I say, sexier. It feels really good in my hands and honestly makes the system feel even more streamlined. If you're just getting into the R6 system, don't forget you will need to purchase a compatible DL system port. 
visit the port chart linked from the R6 product page to find the right components for your lens. I also recommend adding a vacuum pump and right hand quick release handle, especially if you're diving on scuba. The R6 Mark II is fully compatible with our DL5 DS Link TTL converter for perfect automated strobe exposure when shooting Ikelite DS series strobes. Now, if you want to use the Mark II camera in an existing housing built for the R6 Mark I, you will need to purchase a new camera mount. The original camera mount for the Mark I will not fit unless you want to take a file to the camera's LCD screen. You can drop the camera directly in and operate it with an older housing if you use the new camera mount. The quick control dial too may be a little finicky as the camera's physical dial did change positioning slightly to accommodate the new on off switch. Speaking of which, you would not be able to turn the camera on and off once it's installed in the housing. This is because as we discussed earlier, Canon moved the on off switch. We can add this feature to your housing if you give us a few weeks and a few dollars. We'll link to the upgrade page in the description of this video where you can find information on getting that done. If you're out there shooting the R6 Mark I or Mark II, we would love to see what you're creating. Shoot us an email to ikelite at ikelite.com. Thanks for watching and happy shooting.